Hi, it's Don at OutsmartYourTechnology.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to manage tags in Evernote on an iPhone or an iPad. So first, let's look at the iPhone. Here I'm in Evernote, I see a list of notes, and I'm just going to select a note, in this case, Note for Future Project 2. And we can see the notebook it's in, Project Support, but we don't see any tags. To see the tags, we have to tap on the I. And it shows us there's already one tag on this note, Dollar Future 2, and I can add another tag if I want. Just click on Add Tag. I'm gonna maybe tag this as being a customer named Joe. Here he is. So I'll select that tag and add it as well. Now when I close, that tag is on the note. It doesn't show here on the main screen, but again, if I tap I, you'll see it. It's really the same process for creating a new note. If I click the plus to create a new note, then tap the I, and then I can add tags if I wish. So in summary, on the iPhone, in order to edit or see the notes, you have to tap the little I at the corner of the note. Now let's take a look at using tags on the iPad. So here I have a list of notes. I'm going to look at that same note we showed on the iPhone, Note for Future Project 2. Notice it already has the tags that I created before, the Carrot Joe and the Dollar Future 2. And again, to edit those tags, simply tap on the I, and I can add a tag or remove a tag. It's really the same creating a new note as well. I create the new note, I can tap on the I, and add any tags that I want. and then tap close. So really the main difference between the iPad and the iPhone is that the iPad has a little bit more room and it shows you the tags on the main screen, whereas the iPhone you actually have to tap on the I in order to see the tags. But with both applications, you have to tap on the I in order to add a tag or delete a tag. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel so that you can get future updates. Or better yet, hop over to my website, www.outsmartyourtechnology.com, and subscribe to my newsletter there.